my name is Bernadine from Universitas Pinta Harapan, Indonesia. In this video, I'll present my thesis project about an integrated facility for float and fire evacuation center that is served as a public space. Enjoy watching! In general, public facilities such as fire station and evacuation center are only used by officers and used as a parking lots for a firefighting vehicle which are only operate during an emergency. While, as a public facility, it's supposed to serve as a public space where it support public daily needs, improve the quality of the neighborhood, and support social activities. The thesis project challenged these public facilities can be integrated and turned into a safe destination, while it also serves as a public space. The concept of integration. The concept of integration is not just in institutional, but also in the private and public building programs to the needs of institutions and communities as a destination for the public. The architectural composition. The architectural composition can be composed based on a hierarchy of flow activity and its urgency. So that the primary area is located in the ground floor because it requires fast access. The secondary area is located in the second floor because it's important but doesn't require fast access. And to maximize the space, the roof area is used as a supporting area. Side context. It's located in Kalideros, West Jakarta, Indonesia, surrounded by residential area and factory area, near Kamal River that mostly caused the flood disaster. It serves around 200 to 500 walkable radius for about 5 to 7 minute walk. This project also explored the use of bamboo as its local material. Bamboo Usage Diagram Bamboo is a sustainable material that is flexible towards its functionality and environmentally friendly. It is applied as the building enclosure which can be transformed into modules for temporary living units to provide privacy to disaster victims. The parking area also can be transformed into temporary living shelter to expand capacity. The building enclosure also can be transformed into bamboo raft for rescuing the refugees. Bamboo rafts are often used as a traditional means of water transportation in Indonesia. The bamboo turns into modules so that they are easy to assemble and reassemble. A temporary evacuation shelter. A temporary evacuation shelter must have certain qualities that need to be adjusted to human behavior towards their environment. The quality must prioritize capacity, its relationship to site context, and the comfort of their victims, so that all space programming and space requirements need to be adjusted to factors such as personal space, territory, access control, and level of accessibility. Access and circulation. Primary area Secondary area
supporting area. during the day from the pedestrian. People can access the building through ramp. Or stairs in the other side of the public parking area. Beside the stairs, there is an outdoor public area for gathering and other social activities. It is connected to the receptionist area and the parking area. Using the stairs to enter the bed. It will lead to the transition area. Before enter the indoor field where people can do some sport activities like playing basketball and other indoor training. Beside the indoor field, there's a foyer area that connected to First, the cafeteria that is open for public Beside the fire department private area that is connected to the private parking area for firefighting vehicle and ambulance. There is a clinic that is open for public, an outdoor field that can be used for playing soccer outside the firefighter training hour. Second, the foyer connected to the EOC office and the meeting room. Third, to the outdoor area where people can jog or walk in the ramp around the building while enjoying the view. The balcony in the second floor allow people to watch the activity in the first floor. And connected to the clinic area where the OC worker can rest and allow public activities where people can read, play, and socialize. There is an amphitheater seating and some circular seating area. When flood disaster occurred, the bamboo raft used to evacuate the victim to the life saver facility. Entering the building through ramp, 
people can rest first at the cafeteria, then continue using the stairs or ramp. Using the ramp. Will lead people to the transition area, then to the indoor field that transform to temporary living area using the bamboo as a temporary living unit. There is a storage area to put their belongings. and they can wait at the cafeteria while the units are being assembled. The outdoor field turned into public parking area because the public parking area will transform to temporary evacuation shelter when needed to increase the capacity. That's all about my project, thank you for watching.